Holes, such as this one in the bottom of our Stanford bunny, are not ideal for 3D printing, because when we go to generate our 3D printing file, the slicer software can't tell what's inside the model and what's outside, and this can create some pretty severe errors. To prevent this, we use the make solid function, which fills in these holes and sorts out any weird bits of geometry for us. To do so, click on the model to select it, and then go edit, make solid. From this menu, we can change the mesh density, which allows us to preserve or remove detail. So if I bring this right down and hit update, it will make quite a choppy bunny. And if I bring it back up, it will make it smoother like my original. So that's a good setting to play with just to make sure that you're not losing any detail when you go through this function. Once you're happy with it, hit accept, and it will now show you that it's filled in the bottom. You'll end up with two separate objects, which you can see in the object browser. One that says solid and one that doesn't. So if you want to, you can now delete the older version so that you're just keeping the solid one. You can use the make solid function to repair things like 3D scans and objects that you've downloaded from online. This is especially handy if the objects were not originally intended for 3D printing. For example, if they were made for a video game. It's also good practice to do it regularly to any file you've been working on for a long time, just to make sure that you haven't accidentally introduced any weird geometry along the way. G'day! Please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share me around. <laughs> if you have any questions about this content, or you just want to hang out, I have Twitter, Patreon, Discord, and a website. <laughs> See you later!